So, I'm going to need some more ice there. Like a roto turret. The last one. Wow, he misses. Cute. If he doesn't put money on KD, shipment would be really good. Power shutdown for Data Sucker, also very good. This will keep him off account siphon. And I know that he's not stealing an agenda. Wow, and I trash I trashed the easily the most useless card in my deck. <laughs> So hopefully he's not sitting on the other data sucker. Hopefully it's somewhere deep deep in the bottom of his back. I don't think he discarded that, did he? Did not. So now he goes looking for the other sucker. Checks to make sure the successful demonstration is one, despite he saw it. You knew what that one was. No, I have absolutely no recursion. Not a joke. No recursion. <laughs> Alright, gain some money. So here's my window. Uh, just take money. I've got three agendas left that can reasonably be scored. And three that cannot. Two biotic labor, one shipment from San San. So I either need to draw like biotic agenda before he gets the other data sucker and can just siphon me. Unlikely. If he has another deja vu it could also be in trouble though. I don't know how he would fit it. It doesn't have medium. He's probably playing the full influence. So one, two, three, four, five on the table. Six, seven in the discard. I guess it wouldn't be too hard to fit it. I know there's 8 9. There's one Deja Vu in there. But he's probably got another RDI, which would be 11. But then he still has 4 left. I don't know if he's playing Mimic or not. Probably not. I don't see a lot of people playing Mimic and Ninja. Uh, I could also just draw the other power shutdown. Kill the last Data Sucker. That'd be pretty ballin'. But if he's got Deja Vu number two as his final influence, he'll find it soon enough. What is this? Dirty laundry? Inside job. Okay. Steal some bad ones. If you get anything, make sure it's the mandatory upgrades. So I guess this is a position where I would want to have uh, the three ones rather than the mandatory upgrade. Alright, Seals Efficiency Committee. And that's it. Good. That's what we wanted. <clears throat> Going back to visit Mr. Lee, and uh, I would guess put money on Katie as the last pick. Yeah. Okay. Conclude this turn. What did he see? Power shutdown. Adorable. 
Oh my god. I can get Corroder. I'm going to. Alright, I flop an efficiency committee, unfortunately. Uh, so... Why don't I trash this? And just put a paper wall there. And click for a credit. Hopefully you can't recur that corroder. So yeah. Power shutdown. Doing a good job this game. I should probably be playing some amount of Jackson Howard. Or, or Archive Memories maybe would be fine too. Just to get back hedge fund. Be like a shitty beanstalk royalty. He takes six from Katie Jones. Deja Vu's Corroder. Okay. At least it's, uh... At least he's not Deja Vuing, uh... The other thing. Unfortunate, though, that he has it. <laughs> Plays a Corroder and... Runs Archives. Make him pay one. <laughs> Still, still losing. Interns. Interns would be cute. Too bad, like... I don't know. What good is interns really going to do? If I mill an agenda, I'd have to put it into play into a remote server that I can't actually protect it in in the mid-game late game. Like, it's so hard with all these shitty ice to, like, do well against, uh... Good decks. <laughs> agenda? Successful demo. That's not good. Alright, let's draw. Fuck. No agendas. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> He's got four hits and eleven cards. I don't see how he's losing this one. Just R and D locks me and wins. Just put money on Katie Jones. Take a credit. Click through one of the Eli's. Or put money on Katie Jones. Run. Click through one Eli. Pay four for the other one. Win the game. Does the same old what? Same old tricky ball. <laughs> okay. Fine. Is that really that much better than same old inside job? I don't know. Wow, he didn't even run R&D. Passes the turn. Agenda? Shipment. That's good. Let's keep drawing. Um, should I take a credit? I guess so. I don't know what else I'm doing. Alright, now it's even harder for him to miss. Half the cards are agendas. <laughs> Maybe he just doesn't run R&D, and then the top guard is 3-2 uh, and I win. But somehow I doubt it. This deck, I mean, like, look, everything went according to plan. I blew up his corridor, I blew up two data suckers, I rushed agendas, and I still can't win.
don't see myself ever winning this one. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to do the rush thing very well. I don't know if I don't know how to do the rush thing or if it's just bad. It's definitely one or the other, or both. I think I'm bad at it, but... I don't know. Maybe that other Eli needed to go on r and I mean, fuck if I know. <laughs> I feel, I feel, I just feel like there's no good option when you get to a late game against a good deck. There, like, you have to, you have to fast advance, like, it's the only way, because they're getting into every remote server that you install. You can't make it expensive. Like, the only, the only ice that you can afford that's, like, really expensive to get there is Eli. Everything else is too expensive. Unless you're like pulling some bioroid nonsense. Bioroid efficiency Wotan dot deck. That seems like a joke though. I'll play for some professor. Win by turn 10 or lose. Yes, Morningstar against Eli is obviously the best answer, the only answer. Unfortunately, it's a ridiculous card. It doesn't do anything against other things. Like, unless you're running, like, Eli seven times, who cares? Maybe not seven, but a lot. I guess you do run Eli a lot of times because it's on R&D. Because that's where it goes. Prof. Lagsville. This is my last game. There's too much lag to play. Geet. Come here. Cat's coming to be a pal. Hey, cat. Uh, Alright, Wayland. Let's draw Plaskrete. Plaskrete, Opus, Sure Gamble, Professional Contact. I don't know. Opus, pretty good. I'll take any hand with Opus against Wayland. This is great. I'm in. Is it really great? I don't know. It's okay. I've got to start drawing cards. I'm going to put Opus on the workshop, draw two this turn, like almost 100%. So I guess I'm drawing two first. Then it goes Ice Ice. Ice Ice Credit. Ice Ice Draw a card. Huh, interesting. Still don't want to run. Not without plastics. Scavenge, cute. Broder, not bad.
Hostile takeover. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna run now. Because I can use that bad publicity. I'm just frozen, aren't I? Uh, let's run HQ. Uh, yeah, using my bad publicity to, uh, get Opus out faster. Scorched Earth, yeah. It is nice, isn't it? <laughs> I thought it was pretty smart. Uh, so probably not an Enigma there. So I could keep running. Probably not an Enigma Shadow. It could be Archer. Man, this lag is terrible. Creative use of Bad Pub indeed. Oh boy, I might just have to bail on this game. This is really bad, bad pump. Or this is really bad lag. Another Scorched Earth. Um, I could... Run here, I guess. And if it's like a shadow, I have to remove the tag. Sarugi, oh no! Lose my Gordian Blade, lose Clone Chip, lose Scavenge, please? Alright, fine. I'll access because he's only on three credits. Veterans program, yay! And I guess I'll draw. Medium. Interesting. So I lost both my clone chips. It's going to be hard to get Gordian Blade back. But I do have Yogg, Cyber Cypher also, so... He's probably not playing any large code gates. Maybe a toll booth or two, but... Could have uh, left it out for Sarugi. Man, awful lag. I don't know, maybe people haven't seen it before. What is this? Ah, uh, Oversight AI. Uncurtain wall. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, well, that's going to be successful, I think. How much is that to break with Corroder? 11? I can maybe do it. He can't score. So I can actually I can actually break that next turn. <laughs> sort of funny. What? Where did that Rex pin mean go? Oh, there it is. I'm 
Rex campaign out of Wayland. That's just weird. Just play Elizabeth Mills if you want to remove a bad publicity. If you want five money, there's a thousand better ways to get five money in Wayland. This just takes forever. Just play a Beanstalk royalties, goddammit. He's not the other Wayland, is he? No, he's regular Wayland. Oh, he doesn't know how it works. He doesn't know how it works. Yeah, it takes three turns. What does he think? That you just remove all the power counters at once? Yeah, I read that wrong then. Yeah, I don't know. Stay away from this one. Oh yeah, Elizabeth Bulls can can kill the workshop. Well, no reason to run that now, right? I don't even know if there's a good reason to run it ever. Like, let's just draw. Try and find me a plastic. There's a, or get a, Parasite would be great. Any way to go get Parasite would be great. Cyber Cybers do nothing. Uh, Memchip is sort of do nothing. I don't think I'll need Medium and Keyhole. So I'll just keep drawing. There's Mimic, that's pretty good. Uh, huh. I guess keyhole is worse because of the memory. Since I have Opus in play, it's going to be difficult to uh, have enough. Like, I won't be able to get Corroder out. Even with the Memchip, I won't be able to have Corroder mimic keyhole Opus. Don't really care one way or another whether he's uh Rex campaigning for credits or for BP. I mean I guess I could just trash it. I'm gonna have to get rid of that curtain wall soon. But the thing is is like as long as I stay on money with curtain wall, he can't really use it like he can't install another ice. So he's gonna have to like basically forfeit an agenda or let me break curtain wall for a lot less. So, don't really see a great reason. Should I run into Archer? Oh no, now that I have two programs in play, I definitely don't want to run into Archer. Uh, let's start by drawing. Uh, that's sort of useless because I have Opus. I'll draw again. Bam, that's also pretty useless. <laughs> uh, but not that useless. I don't know which one I, which I, one I want. Let's, uh... Uh... Let's do Fem. It does turn off my uh, test run fan, but whatever. It's going to be good against Oversight AI-ish. Like if you Oversight AI is an archer in front of the curtain wall. Couldn't use fem for that.
Alright, now he's uh, Rex campaigning. He takes the money. Does not remove BP. Workshop is really shining this game. A money, a turn, plus the bad publicity bonus. Here he's taking money, and that's it. Discarding. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take money, or I'm going to take a counter off uh, the mem chip. I don't even know that I want them yet. I'll uh, draw one card. Yogg's pretty good. Discard Katie Jones. Alright, so I can get past most large ice now. Beanstalk royalties. Uh, really could use a plastic. Puts another ice on R&D and installs it in his remote. It's probably a lot of nothing. I could start on HQ, but I think it's an archer. Do I care if it's an archer? No. I just want him to pay. To res whatever it is. And if he doesn't, I at least get the uh, the fem counter off. But we'll see either way. Another curtain wall. That I'm ignoring. Ends the run. Let's run here. So what is this? Strength 10, 3 subs, right? Yeah. So I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. 1, 2, 3. Now I'm safe from Sea Scorched. Because he's poor. the atlas yeah that's why i didn't go get the rest cam rex campaign like that's he has to like forfeit an agenda or install something on top of it in front of it rather all right so essentials are good just take more opus money I have a Cyber Cyber in case of a toll booth. Well, I guess I could use Fem for that also. I think he's got two Scorches in hand. Probably more likely he has two Scorches than he has one that I saw twice, but could be either way. Uh, let's draw one card. Let's draw two cards. Sure Gamble. And... Uh, I don't know what Kogi Breaker I want yet. Let's just 
just install this other mem chip. I don't like giving up the information that I'm holding medium. And he's Waylon, so I don't have to worry too much about fast advance or anything. I don't have to worry about too much at all, really. Uh, let's remove a counter from Fem. Uh, draw a card. Jin. Definitely an interesting one. I can use Jin to go get uh, Parasite. I can also use it to uh, host the uh, keyhole, or I could just uh, scavenge Magnum Opus onto it for the two memory savings. This is like the issue that I have against Wayland, playing Wayland and Jinteki. Like, because you don't have fast advance. The runner, if they have like Katie Jones or Opus, they can just sit there and gain money and draw cards. Just wait for you to install something. And then go get it. Uh, let's remove a counter from Jin. You notice this Yog? Take money and run? Take money one time and run in case I get tagged? Like if this is Ghost Branch or something? <clears throat> Enigma? Yeah. Not surprising. Not surprising here either. Archer, so I'm gonna fem this archer. Super tech, he says. Professor is always so tricky. Like, what are you going to do? Too many tricks for you. Alright, now the plan will be... I have to install this mem chip. Ooh. I'll take credits. I have to install this mem chip before I can install Jin. Ooh, actually, if I install Memchip and then I install Jin, I won't have enough money, or I won't have enough memory to uh, have Parasite in play. I could install Memchip Jin, scavenge Opus onto Jin, then go get um, Parasite at that point. Which would be fine. Alternatively, I could just get Keyhole now. And uh, go for the throat like that, but I don't know. Uh... <clears throat> Just draw and take money. There's my plastic. So next turn, Jim Jin comes into play. Scavenge opus on the Jin. 
get Parasite. That's my that's my play. I'm doing it. Uh, I don't know how how I'm gonna do this, <clears throat> but whatever. You get Magnum Opus. Uh, host it. Uh, search for Parasite. Play Parasite. And I'll just take more money. Nothing is safe. Except for HQ, but who cares? Alright, so installs there. If you want something to be paid for to get in, that's fine. Uh, do I care about this stuff? Not really. Let's just uh, put flash speed on the personal. Run. Hopefully it's not edge of the world. <laughs> if it's snare, I don't care. Just remove the tag. Jackson Howard, okay. And uses it. Uh, and then I'll draw and take money. Another scavenge so I can move that femme if need be. He can't really clear a virus counter. Like, because I just go get Parasite and then run it anyway. Get Parasite, play Parasite, run Archives, run R&D. He trashes his Archer. And not the Enigma? Okay. There's no reason to trash both of those. Just make a new server. You're allowed to have more than one. Now, I actually have enough extra memory to just install keyhole straight up. Let's just run R&D for regular. See if I can't figure out what ISIS is. You can't res an archer, so... Beanstalk, okay. Uh... Take more credits. He's not showing me what that ice is, so I'll just let it be. I scavenge uh, to move Fem onto a different archer if I want to. Uh, okay. Draw, test run, let's run here, I mean I could obviously be medium running here but I really want to see what the ice is before I go and like sink a bunch of money into it.
And I'm pretty safe from everything. I don't know why I would trash that. It's free to install. Put Sarugi back. Um, so I'm going to go get a uh, data sucker. Take more money. Data Sucker is going to make it so I can uh, test run that Parasite. Alright. Scores the... Uh, another Hostile. So now Archer is back on. How many MU does it say that I have? Four? I actually have two. Could I die to see triples? I can't. I have, I have plastic, so I can't. Uh, let's install the medium now. Still have uh, room for the parasite, so I'm gonna run here to make him res it. Bastion. Uh, I'll take credits here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what ice he's looking for. Like, I'm getting past everything. Ooh, sneak door. Too bad I can't afford it. Just run archives, see what's there. Hopefully not too many shocks. Just a lot of Rex, Rex campaigns and nonsense. Uh, and I'll take more money. Next turn, I can run R&D a lot of times. Uh, but I guess I'll start by running here. Grim. Alright. He's on 3 BP now. Mining Corp trash.
I'm just gaining some data sucker tokens now. Oh, I want to see what Icy trashed. It looks like you trashed like Enigma of oh, Chimera. That's pretty bad right now. Click one, install a card. Advance, advance. Score another hostile takeover. <laughs> okay. Um, I can break everything, so let's just uh, test run this. I think it's just Bastion. Breaking that for free. Kill the Sarugi. And then run it a lot more times. Hopefully I don't hit snare snare. <laughs> I could it could happen. It could happen. I would be dead. I'd laugh. So much effort to kill when it's free to break. Yeah, I guess so. As long as I don't die to snare snare right now, yeah, I don't. Uh, keep going. I gotta stop running now. Cause snare will kill me now. Uh, I can always uh, scavenge back the parasite now if I really want to. That's like a nonsense virus clear because I'm just gaining them all back now. And the mandatory draw isn't doing anything for him, so. Let's just run three times. No, that's not that. No memory for an imp, unfortunately. Not about to trash any of these breakers. I guess I could trash the Yog. And go get an imp. It wouldn't be awful. Game is pretty far gone. Curtain wall. <laughs> Curtain wall, hedge fund. You did it. Draw a card. Fine. Uh, yeah, no real good options there. I can scavenge Femo into it. That makes the most sense, actually. I put a virus counter on it. 
Let's run it. All right, got it. 